Hello students, welcome back to the online lesson today. Today we are going to learn unit 10. How much time do we have? Lesson 6, listening, speaking and writing. Now students, look at the pictures. What are these pictures about? They are about some kinds of vacation. Now look at picture A. What can you see? It's a lake near the mountains. What are the people doing? They're sailing. How about picture B? It's a beautiful beach. Some people are having fun at the beach. And picture C? It's a zoo. Some people are going to see animals. Very good students. These pictures are about the activities that people do during their vacation. So today we are going to listen to three people, Nhân, Lang and From, talking about their vacation. Listening 95. Listen and write N, Nhân, L, Lan, or P, Phong. One. My name's Nyun. This year, I went on vacation with my grandparents because my parents had to work. My grandparents have a vacation home near a beach. We went by car and it took five hours. We had lunch in a restaurant on the way. We went to the beach every day and played soccer and frisbee. My grandparents are really healthy and fun. I had a great time. Two. I'm Lan. I went on a vacation with all my cousins to a big house in the mountains. I have eight cousins, so we had lots of fun together. There was a big lake near the house, so we went for walks and also went swimming. It was very warm, so it was okay when we got wet. We also sang outside in the evening. It was very beautiful in the mountains. 3. My name is Fong. This year, we didn't go away for vacation. We had our vacation at home. My parents didn't go to work for two weeks and we went to different places together each day. We went to the movie theater and the zoo. At the zoo, we saw giraffes, lions, bears, and crocodiles. I liked them all, but my favorite was the lions. Now let's check the answers. Now we move on to task 2. Listen again and circle. 1. How did Nhung get to the beach? By car, by train, or by plane? 2. How long was his journey? 2 hours, 4 hours, or 5 hours? 3. How many cousins does Lang have? 2, 6, or 8? 4. What was Frank's favorite animal? Crocodiles? Lions or bears? Listen again and circle. Listening 95. Listen and write N, Nyun, L, Lan, or P, Fong. 1. My name's Nyun. This year, I went on vacation with my grandparents because my parents had to work. My grandparents have a vacation home near a beach. We went by car and it took five hours. We had lunch in a restaurant on the way. We went to the beach every day and played soccer and frisbee. My grandparents are really healthy and fun. I had a great time. Two. I'm Lan. I went on a vacation with all my cousins to a big house in the mountains. 
I have eight cousins, so we had lots of fun together. There was a big lake near the house, so we went for walks and also went swimming. It was very warm, so it was okay when we got wet. We also sang outside in the evening. It was very beautiful in the mountains. Three. My name is Feng. This year we didn't go away for vacation. We had our vacation at home. My parents didn't go to work for two weeks, and we went to different places together each day. We went to the movie theater and the zoo. At the zoo, we saw giraffes, lions, bears, and crocodiles. I liked them all, but my favorite was the lions. Now let's check the answers. Now we move on to speaking. Now students, look at the picture. What can you see in the picture? It's a beautiful beach. How is the weather in the picture? It's hot and sunny. Some people are having fun at the beach. It was my last summer vacation. So today we are going to learn about vacations. Now students, look at task one. Read and fill in the blanks. Now students, think up some places for vacation. You have one minute to do this task. Have you finished students? Okay, let's correct. Places for vacation. Mountain, forest, beach, countryside. Now we move on to that too. Put the words in the correct column. There are four columns. Beach, mountain, forest, hometown. Now students, look at the words in the box. Glamour tree. Go rock climbing. Go swimming. Beat mushrooms. Feed the rabbit. Go skiing. Go to a fun fair. Sunbathe. Go camping. Go snorkeling. Go to a music festival. Visit a local market. Go hiking. Go snowboarding. Make a sand castle. Visit my grandparents. Now you have three minutes to do this talk. Okay, let's check the answers. Beach, go swimming, go snorkeling, sunbathe, make a sand castle, mountain, go rock climbing, go hiking, go snowboarding, go skiing, forest, beat mushrooms, go camping, climb a tree, feed a rabbit, hometown, visit a local market, go to a fun fair, go to a music festival, visit my grandparents. Now, student, write your R answers. Now we move on to task three. Write. You write the past form of the verb. Ở phần này thì các bạn sẽ viết hệ quá khứ của các động từ. Climb, feed, go, make. Big, sunbait, visit. You have one minute to do this task. 
Have you finished, students? Okay, let's check the answers. Clam, clammed, fit, fed, go, went, make, met, pick, pit, sunbathe, sunbathe, visit, visited. Well done, students. Now, students, look at top four. Ask and answer. There are six questions for you. One, did you go on vacation last summer? Two, where did you go? Three, how did you travel there? Four, what did you do? Five, what was the weather like? Six, did you eat any special food? Here are some strategic answers. 1. Did you go on vacation last summer? Yes, I did. 2. Where did you go? I went to Nha Trang. 3. How did you travel there? I traveled there by plane. 4. What did you do? I went to the beach every day. 5. What was the weather like? It's worth beautiful. Sit. Did you eat any special food? Yes, I did. The lobster was my favorite. Now let's practice with your partner. You can practice with your friends or your family members. Các em hãy cùng nhau luyện tập phần này với bạn của mình hoặc các thành viên trong gia đình của mình. Rồi sau đó các em sẽ gửi bài thu âm lại cho giáo viên của mình nhé. Let's move on to scratching. Now students, look at the picture. What can you see? It's an address envelope. Do you know how to write an address envelope? Today, I'm going to help you write an address envelope. How to write an address envelope? There are five steps. Step 1. Put the stamp at the top on the right. Step 2. Write the name first. Step 3. Write the house or apartment number, then the street. Step 4. Write the town or city and state. Step 5. Finally, write the zip code at the end. Now, task 4. Read and circle. The stamp goes on the right. The tower goes before or after the street. The house number goes before or after the street. The zip code goes at the top or end. You have one minute to do this talk. Now let's check the answers. Well done, students. Now we move on to task five, match. You, you match the left half with the right half. Okay, let's check the answers. O seven eight four two. Zip code. Matter. Blue is. Name. Boston. City. Four seven two. Address. Lincoln Street. Address. Well done, students. Now, that's why match. You have one minute to do this start. Have you finished, students? 
Okay, let's correct. Forty two Nguyễn Văn Lên Street address seven double O triple O zip code Ho Chi Minh Vietnam City Minh Đại Lê name Now Tat five write your address and draw a stamp. Now, see then, take a piece of paper, write your address, and then draw a stamp. Here is a sample for you. That is the end of our lesson today. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye and see you next time.